The First World War started in 1914 and affected millions of people and countries. But why this war started? How? Of course, you remember when we studied the French-German War and the creation, the unification of Germany after the defeat of France. <whistles> Unit 2. The unification of Germany. Do you remember the picture we saw? The proclamation of the Reich in Versailles Palace? Germany became a military and economic power. The German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck created several alliances to maintain certain balance in European politics. Actually, the German goals were to isolate France and maintain an equilibrium in the Balkans. France was the main enemy of Germany because they shared a border and both countries had an interest in controlling the Alsace-Lorraine area. This area was an industrial zone rich in coal that belonged to Germany since the defeat of France in 1870. Of course, Germans fear the French may want to take back this territory. And that's the reason Bismarck tried to isolate France. Balkan region was complicated too, because different countries had interests there. The most powerful ones were two empires, Russian and Austria-Hungarian empire. To avoid a war, and because Bismarck feared that a hostile combination of Austria, France and Russia would crush Germany, he created his series of alliances called the Bismarckian Alliance System, Sistemas Bismarckianos. They consisted of dual alliance, Germany, Austria, Hungary, later when Italy joined them it became the Triple Alliance, and the League of the Three Emperors, Wilhelm I of Germany, Francis Joseph of Austria-Hungary, and the Tsar Alexander II of Russia. These alliances lasted since 1871 for almost 20 years, but they came into an end when the Kaiser, the German Kaiser, died and his successor, Wilhelm II, changed completely his policy. The new Kaiser was more aggressive. He replaced Bismarck and started a period of armed peace since 1892-1914. During this period, all European countries increased the size and power of their armies and weapons. The European powers divided into two blocks, the Triple Alliance, Germany, Austria and Italy, and the Triple Entente, Russia, France and Britain. Not only the antagonism France-Germany was a source of conflict, the imperialism and the colonialism was a source of conflicts too. Because Italy and Germany had few colonies and they wanted to acquire more. Of course, Britain and France wanted to limit this German and Italian expansion. To weaken France, Germany encouraged the independence of Morocco. But the Algeciras Conference confirmed the French protectorate. And in 1912, Britain impulsed the Spanish protectorate, just to limit the French power in Northern Africa. Another source of conflict was the Eastern Quest. The Ottoman Empire was falling apart. The closest empires, Russia and Austria-Hungary, wanted to increase their influence in the region, taking advantage of this falling apart of the Ottoman Empire. Austria, for example, wanted to expand along the coast of the Adriatic Sea. And to limit the Austrian power, Russia supported the Slavic states, Serbia and Bulgaria, to maintain their independence and not to come under the Austrian power. Anyway, a series of wars led to changes in this region. Bosnia-Herzegovina was annexed by Austria-Hungary and most of Bulgaria was divided up among other countries. The period of the armed peace finished when the heir of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the Archduke Franz Ferdinand, was assassinated in Sarajevo. The Serbian nationalist group, the Black Hand, killed the Archduke on 28th June 1914, and Austria-Hungary used this event to issue an ultimatum to Serbia, considering responsible for the assassination. Serbia rejected the ultimatum and Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia. For sure you want to know the terms of this ultimatum, don't worry. We are going to work about it because it's one of the text commentaries we will be working class. At that moment, the game of alliances started. Russia, allied of Serbia, mobilized its army to support its ally. Then Germany, in order to support Austria, 
declared war on Russia and France, the ally of Russia. When Germany invaded Belgium to go to France, Britain, the ally of France and Belgium, declared war on Germany. Italy, the third ally of Germany and Austria-Hungary, withdrew from the Triple Alliance and remained neutral for a while. 